Due to the success of the Nintendo Switch, many companies are coming along with third-party accessories for your Nintendo Switch. And it could be pretty hard to see, you know, what's good, what's bad. Not a lot of people review accessories on YouTube, but I like to be one of them. I like to check out different accessories, different controllers, different things to enhance your experience. So today on the show, we have three different Nintendo Switch accessories that I'm going to check out, I'm gonna unbox, and I'm gonna see how they work. So the first two come from a newer company called Bionic and they sent me a ethernet adapter for the nintendo switch obviously the switch did not come with one so i'm interested to check out this and a joy con controller charger but this actually oops this actually charges up four different joy cons at once so that's pretty cool honestly so we're going to check out how this works and see how good it is and then a company called power a sent me over a super mario pro controller that's wired so i'm actually interested in this because i like wired controllers as long as it has a good cable length but what's cool about this is it has interchangeable accessories on the analog stick so you can sort of customize it so we're going to check out these three products see what they're all about and see if they get the rgt85 stamp of approval so sit back relax subscribe and let's check out these three products All right, so first up, we're going to check out the products from Bionic, and this is the GigaNet Ethernet adapter and the Tetra Power Joy-Con controller uh, charging station. So that's pretty cool. Here is the Ethernet adapter. And a lot of people prefer to use an Ethernet adapter. Honestly, the wireless at my house is pretty good. So I don't really have a super big need for this, but I do appreciate that they are making one specifically for the switch and if it fits in the dock as well as it appears to that's pretty cool because honestly you don't want you know a big stupid ethernet adapter sticking out of your switch dock that thing is small enough as it is this also works with your computer uh, pretty much a plug and play solution so here is the ethernet adapter nice and simple you see right there you plug in your usb cable or your ethernet cable, excuse me. So let's take our Nintendo Switch dock and see how it fits. Plug it into the USB slot. And honestly, that's pretty nice. It's nice and discreet. You know, it's not messing with the rest of your Nintendo Switch stuff. So I like that. Um, you know, if you're a competitive online player, if you plan on playing games like Doom, and whatnot this is probably a decent decision for you to get an ethernet adapter this one looks like it fits nice and clean we'll try it out and make sure that it works well but yeah i like how discreet it is now let's check out the usb powered uh tetra power joy con adapter or joy con controller charger i'm terrible at opening boxes if you've ever watched what's in the box on this channel, you would know that I am, I am not good at opening boxes. All right, we are in. And let's see what we got. The packaging is very nice too. Oh, this is pretty cool. So, obviously you put your Joy-Cons on here and it has a good weight to it too. The USB cable is right underneath there for charging purposes. So that's pretty nice. I like this. It's, uh, it's got a good design to it, honestly. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's check out the Super Mario controller from Power A, and then we'll test out these three products and see how they work. All right, so let's take a look at the Super Mario controller from Power A. This is an officially licensed product. Uh, it has a nice box. Really cool looking controller. I am very interested in seeing how this works. Hey, we got in pretty easily. All right, so here's our cable, and as you can see, it's a pretty long cable, so that's that's good because short short cables are no fun. Like the NES Classic, the NES uh, or the Super Nintendo Classic, those short cables just suck, man. I can't stand them. And here is the meat and potatoes of what we have here, and that is the controller. 
So as you can see, it has a Super Mario finish. There are little Super Mario emblems in here. And honestly, I like the way it feels. It feels pretty good in my hands. I don't own a Pro Controller currently. You can see you have the capture button and the home button right there, your plus and minus, face buttons, a traditional D-pad, which is nice. So yeah, that's a nice controller. And then of course, if you feel like customizing your analog sticks, whoops, you can do that with this controller. So you just pop it right off. All right, so you take your little analog nub, you pop it in there, and then you can customize it. So this one sort of has a indented one. As you can see, this one sort of rises out. So it's all down to personal preference. Um, so we're gonna try out these three accessories, see how they work, and see if I recommend them. So what do I think about these three new Switch accessories? First off, we'll talk about the two from Bionic, which I've probably pronounced three different times in this video because I'm a little unsure on how you say their company name. Um, as far as the Ethernet adapter is concerned, it's an Ethernet adapter. It works well, it worked fine. You plug it in, you set up your internet options through the Nintendo Switch, you plug in an Ethernet cable, and you have Ethernet adapter on the Switch. Um, I have good internet at my house wirelessly, so this isn't really a big necessity for me, but I do appreciate the compact design and that how it just plugs into the back of the Switch. It's nice and discreet. So if you're needing an Ethernet adapter, this is a good option in my opinion. It works well and it's pretty discreet. I really liked this Joy-Con controller little doohickey though, um, I don't really know how to call it. It holds four Joy-Cons, as you saw it lights up orange, when it's charging it'll hit green when it is done charging. I like how the cable is, you know, discreet underneath here, you just wrap it up when you're not using it and then when you are using it, you simply come out like this, it comes through the bottom of a hole here and then it fits on there. This is really nice, this is really cool, it worked really well, it charges your Joy-Cons up fast, so I like this product, I like this a lot, I think this is really cool. As far as the Power A Super Mario controller goes, a lot of things I like. There's one thing that was kind of a bit off-putting and we'll talk about it real briefly. Um, I played some Super Mario Odyssey with this, of course, because that's what everyone is playing. And I like the fact that you could switch out the analog nubs. That's really cool. You could find a preference that you like. You could figure out which controller feels best for you. And you know, it really gives a sense of customization. I like the design, I like the finish, I like the product itself. It's sturdy, it works well, the D-pad feels nice, everything feels good. The one caveat with this controller is that, of course, it is wired. So you have to use the USB slot on your Nintendo Switch in the back. Um, and that sort of, you know, it clogs up that hole. So if you wanted to use something like an Ethernet adapter or whatnot, you would have to sort of choose. But that's not a huge deal to me. Uh, what is kind of a huge deal is there is no rumble with this controller. Um, there's no HD rumble. And I've kind of grown to appreciate the HD rumble feature. Now, this is a budget controller. It retails for about $30. So I don't expect all the bells and whistles. And honestly, after a few minutes, I pretty much forgot about the HD rumble. But if you're a big fan of HD rumble, if you really enjoy that aspect of the Nintendo Switch, you will probably miss it on this. But for the most part, I really like this controller. It's super comfortable. It feels like, you know, a modern controller on the PS4, the Xbox One, if that's the sort of thing you're going for. And it's an excellent backup controller. So I approve of all three of these products. I think they're all great products. They all seem to work well and they do the job that's intended of them. So I'd like to thank Bionic and Power A for sending me over these accessories to take a look at. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video because if you guys didn't watch me, these companies wouldn't send me stuff to check out so I could inform you guys if they're cool or not. So thank you for checking out this video. As always, be sure to like the video. Let me know in the comments section if any of these products interest you. If you plan on picking up any of these products, I'll have, descri I'll have uh, links in the description box if you feel so inclined to further check them out and thank you guys for watching this video be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys next time later RG.